Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mamano, and today we are going to do a beautiful seascape sunset. I found this beautiful picture that I took a long time ago when I was in Italy. So today I will discuss how to transfer a photograph into a miraculous painting. All of this after the intro. I'm working on a 20 by 24 canvas. Now, I usually will work in a different side canvas for landscaping or seascaping, like 18 by 24, but in this case, I have a picture that I have to follow. So I decide to use this side canvas. Now, this is the picture. This picture is from a beautiful place in North Italy, Genova, and this painting means a lot for me, a lot of memory. Now, let's come back to the painting. As you see, I start from the thing far away from my painting and come back my way till the foreground. On my tone, I leave my tone very mute for the first layer. So I leave space when I, I'm gonna apply the second layer for my darkest color and for my lighter color. I try to stay in the middle range of tone. That's why a lot of time at the beginning, I was find myself to paint the first layer too saturated, I had to darken it out or vice versa. Now I came here in the foreground, still with the first layer. And like I say, I try to fill it in very quick. I'm already at the second layer. And now my color is going to start to be more saturated. I'm trying to follow the picture. Now I see that in this picture there are not a lot of details. I think when I take it, I use a kind of filter or something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to copy the picture how it is and probably change her later using my artist's license and see what's going on. Now I try get a little bit more precise with my color. Painting like this, from a picture like that, I would have loved to have like a, a picture with uh, no filter and nothing. Would have be more easy for me, but at least I have a, something to follow. So this painting was kind of steady and, uh, you know, I had to work a lot with my colors. As you see here, I'm very light color now. I make some mistake on, on the process of this painting, but at the end, it really worked for me. Now you see I'm in the foreground, I start to put all my dark in place first. That's what I do always. And after I apply the, all the highlights on top. I love the formation of the rocks. I love, they are, they are so many different, so many color. I really enjoy painted. I learn a lot from this painting. Every painting that I do is always a lesson for me. In painting, like in music, I was a musician for 25 years. It's always a learning progress. Now let's come back to the painting. You see, I start getting dark with my tone and focus on those rocks there on my left side. On the picture, they are very dark. So now I start to really get my dark tone, try to make the atmosphere that this picture have, and kind of how I remember it was. I'm working a lot with the sky and try to find out the way they really want the sky. On the picture, especially the clouds, is not much to see for the filter that were applied on the pigs. So you're gonna see me work a lot with the sky, the clouds. Now, one thing that I can tell you, if you're painting and you see that your painting doesn't satisfy you, 
Quit. Get your painting, put it somewhere, don't look at it for a couple days, for a week, and come back to it. That's what I did with this painting. At one point, I didn't know if this was going to work or not. So I stopped painting for a week. Get another paint, work another project. And when I come back with fresh eyes, I start painting. And at the end, you will see what I'm talking about. I was very satisfied. Now you can see the painting start coming alive. After several hours of work and thinking, we are, we are working here again in the sky. I remember I was stepping back. Look, look at the color, color harmony, the picture. Try to imagine how I really want this painting. At the end, you will see they make a lot of difference on the clouds, on this painting and the picture. I had to. Now you see I'm working on the, still on the rocks there on my left. And start putting some detail. Now at this point of the painting, I really start getting some detail down. If you look at the picture, even the wave, the crash on the, on the rocks, he didn't have details, nothing. So I had to kind of watch other, what I did is go online and watch other picture or videos to get an idea. I changed the water so many times. I didn't know if I liked the color of the picture. Or, and now you see, I make it darker. I did so many try on this painting. I learned so much. And that's what it's about, learning progress. Here, I'm working, you see, in the, my crushing way. And all the foam. You, if you, I start watching a picture about the foam waves. The ocean is so beautiful. And uh, all the foam waves, they, they, you really gotta study the movement of the water. I remember how many times I tried to do the foam and wasn't looking right. So I had to go back there, look some real picture or video way to see the movement, how they, the formation of, and study them and put it there in the canvas. So it give us the sensation is real. At the end in this painting, I started, I can tell you the last five, six hours on my painting, I was really happy. Even if I knew that I was going to. Every pain that you start is always, you don't know how at the end they're gonna, gonna end up, but I know for every painting that at the end I will be satisfied. You know why? Because I will put all myself on it and try my best all the time. Now I'm putting a lot of details on it. I'm working last details on my clouds. At this point I was very happy after I did a lot of mistake. And there you can see how he end up. I'm working here, change color, put detail on, on the water. I knew that I was in the right direction with this painting. I knew it. And when they're up and at the end, you feel so good. The, all your work, finally, make you finish this painting or your painting in the way that you are very happy with. Here, I remember, I was almost at the end. I was feeling so good. I was trying to put details. And here, you can see me with the last couple of details. And the feeling that you get, it's amazing. That's why we paint. That's, I think, uh, all the artists. You work so much just at the end to step back and look at your finished work. It makes you happy. And this is the painting. Love it.
I will do it again. 100 times. All right, we are done for today. I'm glad I could share this beautiful experience with you guys. And I will make sure to do it again. So if you like to watch more video like this, please remember to subscribe my channel and I will see you soon. Ciao.